The fashion on The Sopranos is rarely analyzed. In the show dominated by themes of power, morality, greed, and redemption, the characters' wardrobe choices might seem like an afterthought. Yet, upon closer inspection, it becomes evident that the clothing plays an important role in shaping the identities and narratives within the iconic series. Therefore, in this video, I'm continuing to explore the fashion choices of the main characters of The Sopranos, dissecting personal style and character journey. Let's start with the Mopos himself, Tony Soprano, the first anti-hero to ever grace our TV screens. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper, the strong, silent type? Tony's character is as enigmatic as it is conflicted. Struggling with debilitating anxiety attacks, he seeks solace and understanding in the office of Dr. Jennifer Melfi, a psychiatrist whose sessions with Tony offer a window into his psyche, humanizing him in unexpected ways. I don't feel nothing. Nothing. Dead. Empty. Viewers witness Tony's vulnerabilities through these sessions as his inner turmoil uncovers, but make no mistake, Tony Soprano is no saint, actually far from it. His profession demands brutality and he fulfills his duties with chilling efficiency. Throughout the show, we witness Tony's climb from capo to the street boss and ultimately to the head of the Sopranos crime family. Yet amid these shifts in power and status, one thing remains constant – his distinct fashion sense or lack thereof. One would argue there isn't much to analyze about Tony's style. Compared to more fashionable characters like Furio or Silvio, well, this didn't go back. Be a problem. Tony's style is straightforward and uncomplicated. If he's not lounging in his iconic bathrobe, you'll most likely find him wearing an oversized camp collar shirt or light knitwear paired with Gucci loafers and his trademark yellow gold Rolex Day Date watch. But I would argue that Tony's signature look speaks volumes about his character. You see, it's not that Tony Soprano cares deeply about following fashion trends, rather his appearance signifies his status and dominance. In the world of The Sopranos, stereotypical gender norms and toxic masculinity dominate, hence why Tony doesn't fuss over his appearance. His priority is getting the job done and this attitude is reflected in his wardrobe. However, I think he might have visited Uncle Junior's tailor at some point because his suits became much better fitted as the show progressed. But the only way Tony can subtly assert his individuality is through his shirts. He really has a fantastic array of shirts. Two tones, Hawaiians and funky, almost Picasso-esque prints from brands like Nut Nust, Burma Bibas and Ganelli. But his style isn't just about the shirts. Tony's signature accessories, the Gucci loafers and the Rolex watch are the cherry on top of his no frills ensemble. These items aren't just status symbols, but a testament of his success and authority in the criminal underworld. What fascinates me the most about Tony is that despite being a high-ranking member of an Italian-American mafia family, he paradoxically leads a mundane suburban life. He grapples with everyday domestic issues, from taking his mother to a nursing home to navigating the complexities of family dynamics, including heated arguments with his wife over seemingly trivial things. You like it with pulp? Not this much. I like the one that says some pulp. So, his clothing reflects the duality of his character as he navigates the fine line between the criminal underworld and the expectations of suburban affluence. I crown Furio the best dressed man on The Sopranos, um, prove me otherwise. Hailing from Naples, the birthplace of magnificent art and architecture, Furio's character brings a touch of Italian flair to the streets of New Jersey with his exquisite wardrobe. From the moment Furio is introduced in season 2, he confidently uses his fashion sense to assert his presence and establish himself as a force to be reckoned with. What sets him apart from the rest of the members of the Sopranos crime family isn't just his signature ponytail or his black leather jacket, but his affinity for luxurious silk shirts. While his fellow mobsters often opt for more practical workwear, 
if you will, such as tracksuits, Furio stands out with his unapologetically flamboyant button downs. Whether attending a welcome party, engaging in an emotional affair with Tony's wife Carmela, or simply busy at work, he always has a fabulous shirt for the occasion. Furio's wardrobe choices not only set him apart from his American co-workers, but also symbolize his proud Italian heritage and cultural background, as most of his clothes were designed by Italian fashion designer Gianni Versace. Gianni Versace famously drew inspiration from Greek mythology and Baroque art for his iconic fashion designs. Since 1992, the House of Versace has constantly introduced various Baroque-inspired prints, featuring intricate patterns in vibrant golds, blacks, and silvers. Gianni was particularly fascinated by the myth of Medusa, a beautiful woman who became a monster. He saw it as a figure both alluring and terrifying, embodying the duality of beauty and danger. Federico Castelluccio, the actor who portrayed Furio, echoed a similar sentiment when discussing the significance of Furio's golden black shirts. He speculated, I would think that the black is there because subconsciously it's a dark thing that they're doing. The underworld of the mob is very dark. And then the glitzy part of it was the gold. It makes sense with an underlying tone. There was a duality to Furio. It's so easy to forget that this extravagantly dressed man, who can make a mozzarella from scratch, is also terribly violent, ruthless and loyal to his crime family. So Furio's fashion style is as captivating as the man himself. A fusion of Italian elegance, undeniable charisma and danger. Christopher's fashion choices don't directly provide insight into his character and journey. His color palette does. While he wears many neutral colors, just like the rest of his associates, Chris distinguishes himself from the group by frequently wearing cobalt blues and fiery reds. While there may not be concrete evidence to support this theory, I think the reoccurring use of reds and blues in Christopher's outfits holds symbolic significance. It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. Where's my arc? In the early seasons, when blues dominate Chris's wardrobe, he frequently feels unappreciated and craves more recognition from Tony. His impatience for respect makes him consider a different lifestyle and pursue a career in show business. He tries acting, screenplay writing, and music production. In color psychology, cobalt blue symbolizes stability, calmness, and peace, which is how his life could look if he were to leave his chosen family behind. However, as he ultimately decides to stay and climbs up the ranks within the family, reds dominate his wardrobe, symbolizing a shift in his emotional landscape. We all know that red symbolizes love, which Chris found in relationship with Adriana. The Sopranos is a world of unhappy marriages, eternal bachelors like Polly, and characters like Janice, who struggle to find stability and happiness in relationships. Therefore, the romantic bond between Adriana and Christopher stands out as something truly special. Unfortunately, red also symbolizes anger and aggression, and as the show progresses, it becomes apparent that Chris can control his negative emotions and is very rageful. Furthermore, red is the color of blood, but on a more symbolic note, it symbolizes bloodline as Christopher is Tony Soprano's cousin. Those other guys, Syl, Paulie, one thing they're not, they're not my blood. Their dynamic, resembling more of a father-son bond, adds another layer of complexity to Christopher's character. Ultimately, Red serves as a poignant reminder of Christopher's struggles with substance abuse, leading to his eventual downfall. This detail underscores the multifaceted nature of his character, revealing the interplay between personal demons, familial obligations, and quests for identity within the complex and brutal landscape of the Mafia. Hence, Christopher's fashion choices not only reflect his inner conflicts and desires, but also enrich the storytelling of The Sopranos, adding depth and dimension to one of its most compelling characters. As it is nearly impossible to cover all characters of this 86 episode TV show in just one YouTube video, here are some honorable fashion moments that deserve at least some recognition. Artie stud earring. Richie's 80s pink tracksuit, the jacket, of course, AJ's Merlin Manson t-shirt, Tony Blandetto's alligator shoes, Silvio's golf hat, 
Jackie Jr.'s badass wannabe look and Polly's very bougie Givenchy tracksuit. I'm curious to know what else would you add to this list and who your best dressed man on The Sopranos is. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. If you're new here, please don't forget to click subscribe. Feel free to leave any videos, requests and suggestions and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye. See? That's what I mean. Life is absurd.